Hello everyone, this is Scott Friesen from Simpletivity, and I'm excited to be back on Francesco's channel. Today I'm talking all about Trello, one of my favorite applications for organizing almost anything. Whether you use Trello to organize your personal tasks or your personal life, or if you collaborate with others, Today I want to share with you five of my favorite hacks when working with Trello. Whether you're a new user to Trello or an experienced pro, I can guarantee you're going to learn something new today in this video. So let's kick things off with some of my favorite shortcuts. When you are adding new cards to a list, uh, you already know that you need to come down to the bottom of the list and select add a card. But what if you already know that you want to have this card appear somewhere further up in this desired list? The traditional method would force you to add the card here and then after you've created it, you'll drag it up to its desired location. But if I want my new card to appear second in this list, all I need to do is hover over the card above it and select the letter N on my keyboard. And now I can add that card directly in its desired location. So no matter where you are, just hover over the card and then select N on your keyboard, N as in new, and you can create and add that new card exactly where you'd like it to be. Now, another keyboard shortcut that I use most frequently is the ability to assign a card or unassign a card to myself. Now, assigning a card in Trello is most helpful when you are collaborating with other team members. Here you see I have a few collaborators assigned to this card. I'm assigned to this card down below. It can be a great way to identify who has ownership uh, for that particular task or that particular card. Now, if I'd like to assign myself to this card here, the traditional method would be to select the edit icon and then select change members and then come down and find my username. So at this step, I'm already at my third step in order to assign this card to me. Well, there is a much simpler, a much easier way. Simply hover over the desired card and select spacebar on your keyboard and immediately you are both following and assigned to that card. Maybe I want to assign myself to these three cards over here. Just hover and hit spacebar and immediately I am assigned to those cards. And if I want to unassign myself, it is the same key. Select spacebar on your keyboard and you can quickly unassign yourself from that card. Now, a couple of other special hacks that I like to use most frequently is Trello's drag and drop functionality. And no, I'm not talking about taking a card and dragging it to a different position or dragging it into a different list. I'm talking about dragging information from uh, places outside of Trello, external places into my Trello board. So let's say I'm browsing the internet and I come across this very helpful blog article and I'd like to reference it later. All I need to do is select the URL, click it and drag it into my Trello board, place it within the desired list that I would like it to reside, release it, and in just a few seconds, it will bring in both the cover image, in this case for that article, the title of that article or the title of that web page. And when I open up the card, I have both the image as an attachment and I have a direct link. So if I want to go back and review this particular article, I just click on it and I go back to that website. So regardless if you are using this for articles, if you want to use this to capture website information, if you're trying to manage different pieces of content for your website. This can be a great way to quickly drag and drop URLs into your Trello board. Now, another drag and drop feature that I like to use, an ability to copy and paste information from external places, is let's say you've got some information sitting in a spreadsheet or you've got some information sitting in a table somewhere and you'd like to convert it into Trello cards. Here I have a number of tasks that have been assigned to me. Maybe I just quickly wrote this down in a meeting. Or maybe this is part of a, a very ugly or a very lengthy spreadsheet somewhere. All I need to do is select this information, copy it, come back to my Trello board, 
decide which list I would like that information to reside in, select Add Card, and paste it. Now, at first glance, it may look like Trello is going to paste all of that information into a single card. But when I select the Add button, Trello recognizes that it is coming from a table or separate lines. So I have the choice. Do I want to create just one card? or do I want to create five individual cards? In this case, I do want to create five cards. So I select that option, and there we go. I've got my five tasks nice and, and cleanly displayed in the same order that I pasted them in as individual cards. So an excellent way to get information outside of Trello into a Trello list, into individual Trello cards. Now the last hack I want to share with you today has to do with enabling a Trello power-up. If you don't know where the power-ups are in Trello, select your menu and come down to power-ups. Now you will find a long list of power-ups available to you. Uh, many different integrations with other software applications, whether you use SurveyMonkey or Salesforce or MailChimp, Google Drive, most likely you will find an integration to another external application. But there's an awful lot of additional special features you can enable here as well. And one of my favorites is the ability to have a card repeat. It's called the Card Repeater Power-Up. All you need to do is select the Enable button here and you can enable card repeater for your Trello board. What that means is this, let's say that this particular card here, Send Weekly Report to Manager, I'd like this to reappear in this list each and every week, even after I've archived it or even after I've crossed it off. So when I open up this card, you will see on the right-hand side there is a Power Ups section. And here we find a Repeat button. By selecting this Repeat button, I can select how often I would like this particular card to repeat. So you can choose between weekly, monthly or yearly. If you want something more frequently than weekly, you would simply need to select this option and then select all the days of the week or, or which days of the week you would like this card to repeat. In my example here, I would like this to repeat on a weekly basis, so I'm going to leave it at 12 noon. That's the default time. And I'd like it to repeat on Thursday. Give me enough time to write this report before I finish the week off before the weekend. So I want it to happen on Thursday. I want it to happen every week. You can have a few other choices here if you want it to happen bi-weekly or some other extended period. Every week, I want it to happen in this list. I can choose another list if I so choose. And yeah, I'd like it to appear at the top. You can choose between top or bottom. I'm going to select Save. And now it's showing me the next time that this card is going to repeat. Here is the coming Thursday when this card will be repeated. So if you have a task, if you have particular cards that you would like to reuse time and time again, be sure to enable the card repeater power-up. I hope you found these hacks useful. If you would like to learn more about Trello and different ways of using the Trello application, I would encourage you to subscribe to the Simpletivity YouTube channel. Thank you again, Francesco, for having me on on your channel. And remember, being productive does not need to be difficult. In fact, it's very simple.